Okay guys, so I only have a few moments here and if you guys can't tell, this wall is usually behind me. Well, I'm in the process of moving all of my desk, getting everything rearranged and trying to come up with uh, a different setup because I like the light bulb, the single light bulb in this entire massive room. I like that light bulb being able to light up my gorgeous face. Real quick bit of advocacy, currently the FDA is trying to ban 99% of vaping products that are on the market. What I need you guys to do is go to CASA, C-A-S-A-A dot org and follow the call to actions. Do what you have to do to save vaping. I also need you guys to go off, contact your representatives personally and say, hey, I want you as a representative of me to go off and support the Cole Bishop Amendment as well as HR 2058. This is important, guys. And if you're in the UK, the TPD and all that whole jazz, and I'm not part of the UK, so I really don't understand, and I really need to actually see if I can get a hold of uh, Vic uh, in some way and just kind of see if he can send me links so I can be learned on this thing that is the UK because the United States is a whole different world than anyways. But I need you guys to go to righttovape.co.uk and also go to Google and type down in there, uh, wow, of course my brain just completely mm, vapors in power. Go off, take a look at that, get that information, get yourself informed and do what you need to do to actually be fighting this fight. I don't know how else to say that. I completely hit a mental block, so let's go ahead and vape. Alrighty, so um, anyways, what I'm vaping today, real quick, important vape to really talk about, and it's a personal vape to me. Um, I just noticed that my stickers, like the Mount Baker Vapor sticker and everything, I'm not gonna be able to move them. Aww. Sacrifices. They are sacrifices. Okay. Uh, that's going to make me really sad, actually, because I got this nice Mount Baker Vapor sticker and a monster sticker. I can move all of them. Nah, I can just take those down. The Force Awakens sticker with Chewbacca. Uh-oh. <laughs> Anyways, the Destiny poster. That, that, no, that'll move behind me. Guys, this today is Devil's Food Cake by Mount Baker Vapor. And the reason why this one's so important to me and I've done this video like 16 times over. The reason why this is so important to me is because it is a nostalgia vape. It's a vape that really comes alive for me in one simple way. My family is so centered around food. We love food. And I know there's a lot of families that love that or love music or love reading. My family is the food family. We're the chubby cheeks, you know, blah, 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 um, do the Goonies truffle shuffle. Um, <laughs> not all of us, most of my, I'm the only big one in my family. I don't know how to stop. I'm not gonna lie. Um, anyways, so Devil's Food Cake reminds me of spending time with my mom baking and cooking in the kitchen. It's something that's important to me and Devil's Food Cake is also um, one of the good memories I have with my dad. My dad's still around, don't worry guys. One of the good memories that I have with my dad um, is him always loving to bring home Devil's Food Cake uh, for birthdays, for parties, for what have you. He loved to bring around Devil's Food Cake because that's just a cake that he loved. Um, loves. I don't know if he still eats that. That's that's a good question. After all this time, does he still love Devil's Food Cake? I don't know. That's a good question. Anyways, I'll have to check with him. But it's something that I enjoy. It's one of the few cakes, because I really don't like cake. It's one of the few cakes that I personally do enjoy. Um, it's... This vape really hits in, like heavily on... I'm sorry, my desk is behind me, so instead of looking down and grabbing stuff, I have to... Mm, beard Vape Co. in the local vape shop. And anyways, so the thing that's really just hits right is it's got this buttercream chocolate frosting flavor. It's got this cakey flavor. It even has like this 
berry flavor, which I don't know where the heck that came from, but it's really good. Um, I don't know why I get this fruity type flavor from it. Maybe it's the how they hit the chocolate. Maybe it's the chocolate that they use. Maybe it was something that they're... Uh, for me, I get this little light background of, of, of a fruity type berry type flavor. Um, but really, honestly, the most that it does is it hits that chocolate creamy cakey flavor. I think that covers it really honestly well. It hits this chocolatey, cakey flavor. And, and it's something that, you know, it's a little too rich of a vape for me, to be honest, to just go all day long on it. It's something that I really have to go, I would really like some devil's food cake. Now for some of you, it may be this all day vape. Right? It's not really that much, but that's okay. That's not a bad thing. That's not saying that the vape is a bad vape. What it says is that the vape is, that the vape is still very enjoyable, but it's not something that I can all day vape. And that's okay, because really honestly, what I use it for, what I enjoy it for, is going off and just calming down and kind of having that, I don't know, that kind of moment, like, you know how you get that smell? That one smell that just comes through and it's just like, whoosh, your head rush and you remember all of these, like, hmm, when I was a kid doing X, Y, Z. That's what this vape does for me. Yeah, it really gets that cakey flavor. It's, it's that birthday, it's, that's what it is. It's that birthday, it's that good time, it's that enjoyable moment with family. And that's why I like it. And essentially, it's part of the reason why there's still some left because I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to, you know, order this because I've got a whole myriad of other things that are going on as life is. Um, and because it's not something that's an all day vape for me, it's not something that I'm gonna rely on, but it is something that once this is out, I want to have another one already because it really honestly is that just good time reminder. If that makes any sense, I know that's very personal. It's very something that only I really understand. Maybe somebody else will be able to empathize with me, but it's not necessarily something that they, they they will completely understand because of how personal this vape really has become to me. So is it something that you guys should try? Heck yeah. Steep time on it, about three weeks. Just about three weeks. It's just what it is. You know, uh, low, low power. <laughs> uh, it's about three weeks. Uh, to get the full on flavor, yeah, you've got, mm, about a week and a half to get that flavor but to really have it feel like it comes into its own about three weeks which is something that personally I I like about it um, because it's not it's not super short which means that there's a lot of complex not that complex of flavors but it's also not super duper long like a tobacco where you like you want like a month and a half to, to steep it plus um, it's 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 about about two and a half, three weeks. Not too bad. Pick up a 30 mil, pick up a 15 mil if you're really hesitant, but pick up a 30 mil, give it a shot. It's worth being something in your arsenal of vape. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna start digressing now because that's where I get to in this video. I start to digress and I go into family memories and all of that kind of stuff because that's what this vape is for me. And it's, I honestly, I enjoyed it for that. Uh, clouds, Max VG. I don't, I, I, I get a lot of cloud. I get a lot of cloud. It just for some reason, maybe, I, I don't know what it is. I don't feel like I get as big of clouds as I get like on desert rain or something. No matter what, I'll always have a yard. As I get like with desert rain or with um, hawk sauce, Cloud production's still very nice. Um, as far as coil gunking, 
it doesn't do too bad. I mean, it really honestly, it's been, it's been running since I realized that I never did the video. It's been running on these same coils and they're not too bad. Um, but you can definitely get a good four days out of it. It doesn't, it doesn't kill your coils that much. For being as dark as it is, it doesn't kill your coils that much. Um, I don't know. It's not as dense as some of the vape that, at least maybe, maybe it's just something in my head. I don't know. Um, I, I, I like it, but Mount Baker Vapor Juices are generally pretty much on the good and yeah, um, maybe I'm not running at the right wattages and I'm getting the flavor, but not as much of the, I don't know. Anyways, again, digressing. I'm starting to digress. Guys, pick up some hot, uh, pick up some Devil's Food Cake uh, and you guys have a great uh, day. This has been Mount Baker Mondays. I, I, I need to order some more juice because I've got maybe three Mondays left um, before I go off. And I'm going to do a revisit on hot sauce um, just to... I, I have, I've had a bottle steeping since that video and I, I, I want to just kind of do a revisit. Um, I'm hoping to have a blog Wednesdays and then of course my frantic Friday? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm trying to do Mount Baker on, on Mondays, Wednesdays do like a blog uh, advocacy type day and then do a random juice company day um, just because I think that'd be kind of cool to be able to do. Um, I'm running out of the ability to do that so we'll see how that one goes. Um, I also don't know what to try. All right, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to stop rambling now. Kiss those coils. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. When you order from Mount Baker Vapor, that was a weird hiccup burp. When you guys order from Mount Baker Vapor, use Baker Vapor from Baker. I'll put it down in the description. Baker Vapor from Baker, 10% off. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a must use. All right, guys. Anyways, again, that's the last one. Thank you very much. Kiss those coils.